Hi St Michaels, I hope you're doing okay. What a 24 hours we've had and uh, I'm sure you, like me you're still digesting uh, what, it, what it means to be in another national lockdown. And so uh, however you're feeling I'm sure it's a mix of emotions uh, like me. I'm back into shielding again. Uh, we're trying to work out what do we do uh, in the next few months and so I thought it would be helpful to just uh, put out a video uh, a message from me uh, to you just to uh, just to help you if if possible um, with a an encouraging message um, from the Bible this this afternoon and uh, I, you know unlike Boris I don't have some Union Jack flags behind me maybe we could get some twirt and flags perhaps for these videos but uh, today the only uh, interesting thing I've got is a uh, is a balloon that uh, looks a little bit like a cloud. I'm going to call it a cloud today, and I'm going to put it above my head as a visual aid to to help you visualise the scripture I just want to bring to you this this afternoon. And it's taken from Numbers chapter nine, verse fifteen. On the day the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant law, was set up. The cloud covered it. From evening till morning, the cloud above the tabernacle looked like fire. That is how it continued to be. The cloud covered it and at night it looked like fire. When the cloud lifted above the tent, the Israelites set out. And whenever the cloud settled, the Israelites set up camp. And so, um, I'll get rid of that for now so it's not a distraction. We have the Israelites in the desert. They've been uh, rescued from Egypt. Uh, God has just been te teaching them about how to remember uh, who he is and what he's done. They've been learning about the Passover, celebrating that meal regularly as a family to remember who God is and what he's like and what he's done in rescuing them uh, from slavery into freedom. Uh, and now uh, we see this amazing um, demonstration of God's guidance to the Israelites, to the people of God as they make their way through the desert to the promised land. And uh, he uses this cloud by day and fire by night to, uh, to, to lead them, to guide them. The, the people don't have a map. They, God hasn't given them a plan uh, and a detailed map because he wants them to learn to trust him. He wants them to learn to trust him that when he says go, they go. And when he says wait, they wait. On Sunday, we were looking at the Holy Spirit and we were looking at being a spirit filled people for 2021. And we were using the the image imagery of wind and the wild goose. We looked at those monks. We thought about those monks uh, from Ireland, the Celtic monks who would set out in little coracle boats, these little tiny little boats and set out not knowing, without a map, not knowing where they were going, being willing to be blown by the wind of God to people and places that he wanted to send them to. We also thought about the Magi, the wise men who set out following this star. They had no map. They didn't know where they were going. Uh, at times the star would, would move on. At times it would stay still and they just had to wait and follow. And uh, here we have this picture today of the cloud. And I just sense that God is saying there will be times when it's time to move forward and there's times when it's time to wait I'm sensing that we're in a time of waiting right now. Um, I cannot tell you exactly what's happening in the next few months. Um, and we're just going to be waiting on God. Um, and uh, what I do sense is that we, as we wait, that uh, we can begin to experience his presence uh, as he, his presence like a cloud descends upon us. That it's time to set up camp, church. It's time to set up camp and enjoy God's presence together in ways that we may not have enjoyed and explored before. Part of our identity as a people of God is that we are a followers, a follower. We are a following people uh, that as followers, we give up our rights to have the map. We give up our rights to make the decisions about where we're going, that we choose to trust that God is leading us that we choose to follow him. And in the next uh, weeks and months, 
at our celebration services, we're going to be uh, looking at this book, uh, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, uh, looking at a series called Restless, where we look at spiritual practices that help us to follow Jesus, to follow the way of Jesus. And, and so we, we are people who are looking to God's guidance. And there are different ways we can see God guide us. Uh, by his spirit. We no longer have a cloud, uh, a visual cloud, but we do have his Holy Spirit and we can experience God's guidance in different ways through reading the Bible. Uh, but remember, we've got the author uh, with us when we read the Bible. Make sure you invite the author. Make sure you invite the Holy Spirit who wrote this uh, to help you understand it. Uh, whenever you open this book, don't just read it, but invite the Holy Spirit to bring it alive to you. The Bible, we also have common sense, but we do want to invite the author of common sense into that uh, process that we would have wisdom. Uh, we also seek the guidance um, and we follow the guidance of those God has put in, in authority over us in leadership. And whether we like the way they've come to the decisions, whether we particularly like the decisions they've made or agree with them, um, unless that um, th there's a, a, a significant reason why we shouldn't uh, follow that guidance. I, I believe it's our public duty to follow that guidance uh, that's just been issued by the government to stay at home. Uh, I'm following it um, as someone in the, 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 the vulnerable category, clinically vulnerable, so I'm going to shield until I'm told otherwise. And then finally, um, one of the primary ways God's, God guides his people is when the people come together, when we come together to pray, when we come together as the body of Christ, um, that I believe that God uh, imparts to us uh, His plans, and 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 in some ways we're not we're not kind of looking to God to direct our plans. We are as we come to God in prayer that we. Uh, are almost uh, exposed to his plans and we are brought into uh, alignment with him, uh, not the other way around. It's not like we come to God saying, uh, God, show us what we should do. It's we are, are going humbly saying, we don't know what to do. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to be with you, Lord, wherever you lead us. And so uh, I want to encourage you to join us on Thursday morning. We had that rhythm of praying at 7 a.m. on Thursdays. I want to invite you to come and join us for Thursday morning prayer this Thursday. Uh, come together as the people of God uh, as we look to God to be, uh, to be inspired uh, by him, to be uh, drawn into his presence and to be conformed into his likeness uh, as he begins to change us as a people as we wait upon him as we set up camp around him so thursday morning on zoom i'll put the zoom link uh, at the bottom of this video uh, do join us 7 a.m on zoom it'll be on facebook live as well on our facebook group too if you want to join that way do be kind to one another look out for each other let's keep uh, loving each other and uh, and do stay in touch. God bless.